Joining us now with more, Kristen Odendahl, uh, Center for European Reform, a chief economist. Uh, Kristen, for those not in the know, why is this party split so significant? So this party split is between the Christian Democrats and its Bavarian sister party. And um, there are two candidates, basically. One is from the bigger Christian Democratic Party. Um, but he has the problem of not being very popular among the mm. German population, it seems. And the Bavarian um, sister party uh, has a very popular politician as, it, uh, as its head. The older Germans, of course, feel that this is some kind of deja vu, because we've been here two times before in the last 40 years. Both times, a CDU, less popular CDU politician, stepped back and let the Bavarian go first. Both times, the Bavarian lost. And both times, the person that followed, Helmut Kohl and Angela Merkel, after them, governed for 16 years. So the CDU feels probably also in some kind of deja vu. Um, why is this happening? I mean, were they just not prepared because Angela Merkel's been in charge for so long? Or did COVID and sort of what happened with lockdowns, vaccines, et cetera, kind of play into this? It does play into this because this is really the worst possible time for the Christian Democrats to have to pick their candidate. Um, it began all in, the, in, in December uh, 2020 when it, when it was clear that the vaccines were not coming as fast as, as people had expected. Um, the CDU was blamed for that because they hold the key dossiers in the German government and even in the, in the European Commission. And um, from that time on, the CDU tumbled in the polls. It had been rising during the pandemic as the sort of reliable crisis manager, also that Angela Merkel uh, represents. But it has backsliding, has been backsliding since. And now at this point in time, I think we are in the worst possible position in this pandemic. We are facing a third lockdown, which was all but decided today. Mm -hmm. And at this point in time, the CDU has to pick a new leader. They couldn't fully expect this. And of course, it is difficult to follow in Angela Merkel's footsteps. But this is now all coming together at the worst possible time for the CDU to pick a leader. So this is, this is, helps me make it very clear for myself, because also uh, that lockdown law that we talked about earlier uh, in the show, that has to go through Parliament now. Does the CDU and CSU have the muscle to get that through? And that, in essence, is what you're talking about in terms of that third lockdown, because there'll be automatic lockdowns, basically. Exactly. So, so far, um, the, all these lockdown measures are state issues. So state prime ministers have to decide on that. And both CDU leading candidates are state prime ministers. So some Germans are asking, OK, if you're a state prime minister, you could have done this a long time ago. Why, why do you need sort of some kind of federal law to, to, uh, to discipline you? But this is the problem of federalism. Sometimes it turns into a competition of politicians uh, that is detrimental to, a, to, a, uh, to an effective uh, pandemic policy. And this is why the federal level is now deciding to sort of um, impose some restrictions, at least, on what states can or cannot do. This is new in Germany because um, internal security, public health, and so forth are, are state issues. Um, yeah, we understand what it's like here in the U.S. to have dysfunction in the politic political world with that. Um, so I, I, I guess the main question is, what happens over the next few years? Like, what's going to be the long-term effect of this if neither one of these candidates actually step back? So at this point, um, the German election is wide open, right? Because we had the rise of the Greens, which had been paused a little by the pandemic, but the Greens are now on the rise again. They are forming the sort of center-left, but really a center political party, political force. And they could well sort of dis decide the fate of German politics for, for years to come, because they are in the central position that both the CDU and the Social Democratic Party will rely on uh, to form a government. So that's number one, right? The position of the Greens. And number two is that the Christian Democrats may, after 16 years in power, uh, lose the chancellery and become uh, an opposition party. And mm. that gives sort of Germany a whole new, whole new sort of set of policy ideas to look into. For example, fiscal policy, one of the main drivers of European macro in the next couple of years will be decidedly different when you have a, a, a green-led or even center-left uh, governing coalition, because they are much more open to a more activist fiscal stance and are much less dogmatic when it comes to fiscal rules, both at home and at the European level.